I welcome you all for this Christmas Eve worship service. God bless you and be with you all as we continue to celebrate the joy of Christmas. Now we shall have the opening prayer and I would request Ordinant Ebenezer to lead us in the opening prayer. Let's pray. Gracious and loving God, we are really thankful, Lord, for your presence and being with us throughout this time, especially in, to, throughout this Christmas Eve. Lord, deliver us from evil by the blessings that which our Jesus Christ brings. Lord, please teach us to the clear hearts so that we may bring the Christmas throughout this coming morning. Make us happy also to be your children. And with this Christmas evening, bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts and forgiving and forgiven. For Jesus' sake, Amen. Amen. Now we'll have the praise and worship songs as we prepare ourselves for this Christmas Eve worship service. Welcome to all dear friends in Christ as we sing some Christmas chorus. May we all fill with the joy and all the happiness <clears throat> that our Lord Jesus Christ has brought to each and every one of us in this 2020th year. May the blessed Lord Jesus Christ, who was born in a manger and who is today exalted on the right hand of God, he is within us. As the word of God says, Emmanuel, God is with us. So with that hope and assurance, we'll sing a few choruses. Glory. Singing all the night And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous rains Gloria In excelsis Wake and hear the joy we bring. Mm -hmm. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us say this prayer together. Almighty God, God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we shall all sing the Gloria together. Ship. 
the collect appointed for the Christmas Eve worship service. Let us pray. Eternal God, you make this holy night to shine with the radiance of Christ and to resound with the angel's song. Grant that we, who by faith behold your glory in the face of a child, may eternally rejoice in the vision of your heavenly splendor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now we shall have the readings. The first reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verses 1 to 3, which would be read by Mr. Joel Francis. The Old Testament scripture is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1 to 3. Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1 to 3. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in the Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of Lord, that they may be glorified. This is the word of the Lord. Now we shall hear the second reading, which is taken from Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 11 to 23, which would be read by Mr. Marcus Manore. Today's second chapter is taken from the Ephesians, the name of Paulus Perit, the first chapter is taken from the 11th verse to the 23rd verse. हम भी उसी की मनसा से जो अपनी इच्छा के मत के अनुसार सब कुछ करता है पहले से ठहराए जाकर मिराज बने कि हम जिन्होंने पहले से मसीह पर आशा रखी थी उसकी महिमा की स्तुति के कारण हो और उसी में तुम भी जब तुमने सत्य का वचन सुना जो तुम्हारे उद्धार का सुसमाचार है और जिस पर तुमने विश्वास किया प्रतिज्ञा किए हुए पवित्र आत्मा की छाप लगी वह उसके मोल लिए हो के छुटकारे के लिए हमारी मिराज का बयाना है कि उसकी महिमा की स्तुति हो इसी कारण मैं भी उस पर विश्वास का सा समाचार सुनकर जो तुम लोगों में प्रभु यीशु पर है और सब पवित्र लोगों पर प्रकट है तुम्हारे लिए धन्यवाद करना नहीं छोड़ता और अपनी प्रार्थनाओं में तुम्हें स्मरण किया करता हूँ कि हमारे प्रभु यशु मसीह का परमेश्वर जो महिमा का पिता है तुम्हें अपनी पहचान में आन और प्रकाश की आत्मा दे और तुम्हारे मन की आंखें ज्योतिर्मय हो कि तुम जान लो कि उसकी बुलाहट की आशा क्या है और पवित्र लोगों में उसकी मिराज की महिमा का धन कैसा है और उसकी सामर्थ हम में जो विश्वास करते हैं कितनी महान है उसकी शक्ति के प्रभाव के उस कार्य के अनुसार जो उसने मसीह में किया कि उसको मरोहो में से जिलाकर स्वर्गीय स्थानों में अपनी दाहिनी और सब प्रकार की प्रधानता और अधिकार और सामर्थ और प्रभुता के और हर एक नाम के ऊपर जो न केवल इस लोक में पर आने वाले लोक में भी लिया जाएगा और सब कुछ उसके पाव तले कर दिया और उसे सब वस्तुओं पर शिरोमणि ठहरा कर कलिसिया को दे दिया यह उसकी देह है और उसी की परिपूर्णता है जो सब में सब कुछ पूर्ण करता है यह परमेश्वर का वचन है परमेश्वर का धन्यवाद Now we shall all sing together, O come all ye faithful, joyful, and triumphant. Hymn number 117. O come all ye faithful, joyful,
We shall go over to the gospel reading, which is taken from St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 20 to 23, which would be read by Miss Achil D. Taiwade. The gospel reading taken from St. Luke. Chapter 6, verse 22, 23. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you, and you spurn your name as evil. On account of the Son of Man, rejoice in the day, and leap your joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to the prophets. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord. Today in our midst, we have the preacher, Ordinant Ebenezer, who would be preaching to us from the Word of God on this Christmas Eve service. So I hand it over to him as he leads us through the Word of God. Greetings to you in the name of our Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bow down our head and look to God in prayer. May the words of my mouth and meditation of all of our heart be acceptable to your sight, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Sharing the joy of uh, Christmas amidst fear and turmoil. There are three spiritual fruit that we are going to share during this time. This is the theme that it has been given for our to remember because in the midst of fear and turmoil we are all secured in our own comfortable zone. In that, how do we share the gift of love, the gift of peace, the gift of happiness? Especially and exclusively this message for all those who are being considered as marginalized and being underprivileged. Luke chapter 6 verse 20 to 21 said that blessed who are poor yours is the kingdom of God. A middle age children just walked on the road and saw that the family who are celebrating Christmas with lots and lots of gifts and love within their family. The person looks at them, he was looking at them actually 
and was thinking if i would have been with the rich family i would have been celebrating kind of gifts new dress and with joyfully in the same manner he crossed the road and he also saw the family who sits around the table and shares the food with each other he saw them and he was seeing them that if he would have get that family he would have not left with the hunger stomach even though he was not eating anything on that day particular day soon after he saw a decorated house there he saw and he was thinking that if he would have have that house he would have accommodate everyone at home the people like him soon the watchman saw him and trying to catch him around by saying you are going to take away something from our home that person that children immediately he was saying neglected and was saying that i am not the one i am not the thief that you are saying and your leader is saying but in the same manner he could not accept those instead the watchman kicked him out for those who are experiencing those christ is saying blessed who are the poor yours is the kingdom of god the gift of love has to be shared because we are all receiving it for free and we are going to give it for free let us give freely the liberation should come out of our free will even though we have our own things to share the gift of peace should be there in the liberation and the gift of happiness let us let us give towards the poor what we have got if we get the gift of love let us give love if we get the gift of peace let us give peace if we get the gift of happiness let us give happiness ephesians chapter 5 chapter 1 verse 15 says that our faith and love should be shown for god's people because they are also considered as god's creation they are all created in the image of god so let us treat one another with love peace and happiness especially when we think that sharing of the peace it is a kind of deconstruction method what we see from the deconstruction method is nothing but a burning candle the shadow of the burning candle when we see the burning candle the shadow of the burning candle we cannot see the people meeting face to face so when we see the people meeting face to face we cannot see the burning candle the image of burning candle in the same manner we are putting in a balance sheet we are putting on the one hand sanitizer and the other hand lot supper to to which we are going to give importance at this time because the our lot supper has been cleansing our heart mind and soul but the sanitizer has been cleansing the outwardly we are being more given more importance to which has been decorated as and which has been protecting us as so called as sanitizer sanitizing is okay but will that be sufficient for us to keep away from us uh, all the viruses 
Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 to 3 says that Jesus Christ he was reading this at the synagogue in order to liberate the people from the captive and he was reading those in order to bind them the bind the broken hearted and comfort all those who mourns in our church uh, we had a debate on uh, the present covid 19 for this christmas uh, for this uh, christian circle has been observed as a fruitful one or it is a cursed one we saw people even more they argued about that this is only for curse not for any fruitful things but on the other hand uh, a women's fellowship they have shared those things that even though we are uh, are in the day difficult situation with this during uh, the time of pandemic people were get united within the family and even though they are uh, apart from the uh, family circle they are been united with the uh, zoom or all the virtual activities but are we accepting this as it is a will of god are we accepting this time as it is as the will of god whether it is a fruitful or it is a a curse we see both the plus and minus together but the sharing is much more given should be important here because if we don't share something what we have right now then what, when we are going to share because the sharing of happiness it is the proof of living holy spirit in us happy means it is not only uh, avoiding something that which makes us unhappy it is also keeping our our ourself away from murmuring and hurting and judging each other and we are seeing all departed souls and often we could not even meet our own blood relatives uh, deaths it is very much challenging for all of us to uh, share at this time but how we are going to show our lord and savior jesus christ's love peace and happiness towards the life of god's creation let us keep in our mind these three fruit of life that we could see from galatians chapter 5 the three important spiritual fruit to to show our faith and love in our experience that is nothing but the gift of love the gift of peace and the gift of happiness let us share this without fear so that we may also be blessed for many may god help us to bless to be a blessed for many amen now we shall all say together the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen now we shall have some brief announcements that is with regard to the christmas morning service we shall be having the 8 am worship and then we will be having the 11 am worship service and this year we won't be having the midnight worship service inside the church 
but we'll be having it online on the 31st of December 2020. So I request you all to be on the link as you will get the link as early as possible for the 31st of December. For the 1st of January, we shall be having two worship services, one at 8 a.m., which would be streamed live, and the second worship service would be at 11 a.m. So I bless and greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this blessed Christmas Eve as we all celebrate the joy of Christmas. May the everlasting presence of the Holy Spirit continue to bless each and every one of you, safeguard you from all kinds of dangers and disasters, and be with each and every one of you. Now for our intercessory prayers, I would request Ms. Mrenalini Sumant Bivalkar to come and do the intercessory prayers. Over to the intercessor for the intercessory prayers by Ms. Mrenalini. And we shall also remember all those who are sick among us. We also pray for the very family of Valentine Shipley, who has gone to be with the Lord. We pray for his entire family, for his daughter, Diva. We pray for both his sisters, Mona, and the other sister who is in New Zealand. We pray for all the family members, for Mrs. Doreen Karat, Uncle Sylvester Isaacs, Uncle Christopher Isaacs, and all those family members who are bereaved, bereaved at this time. May God bless them and give them all the strength and courage. And now I would call upon Mrenalini to do the intercessory prayers. In our intercession, let us join our prayer for the whole human family with the unceasing prayer of Christ the Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for justice and peace in the whole world and for fullness of life for everyone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who live in this place, for the removal of all that divides us from each other and for true harmony in our country. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. For all engaged in agriculture, industry and commerce, for all workers, skilled and unskilled, and for all those who defend our country, Lord, in your mercy, hear your our prayer. prayer. For teachers and students, scientists, artists and writers, and for all who influence the minds and hearts of others, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are suffering, the poor and hungry, the destitute and oppressed, the unemployed the sick and the dying, especially for the members of our congregation, Mrs. Aliyama Kurian, Mrs. Manorama Singh, Mrs. Anita Shyam Singh. We also pray for the bereaved family of Mr. Valentine Shipley, who has gone to be with the Lord. Let us also pray for all those who help them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our hear prayer. For all to whom authority is entrusted in this and other countries, and especially for our president, the Prime Minister, the Governor, the Chief Minister of this state, and for all those who have power over other people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our Lord, prayer. For the unity of all Christian people and for their witness and service in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For your whole church in our country, for its council and leaders, especially for our moderator, moderator of the Church of South India and Metropolitan of Mathoma Church, for our bishop, for our presbyters, and for all other ministers of your church, that they may be faithful in their ministry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. That with all your people who have faithfully served you in this life, we may also share in the eternal joy of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us all say together, Haste in heavenly Father, the, the coming, coming of your, of your kingdom, kingdom and grant and these petitions which we which offer in the name of your Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Now we shall sing hymn number 120, Once in Royal David's City Stood a Lowly Cattle Shed. We shall have the peace from the Lord Jesus. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And now the offerings that you all have collected and you have, must have placed it on the table in the envelopes or in the boxes, we may place our hands on the offerings that we have collected and we'll say this prayer together. All things come from you and of your own do we give you. Almighty God, creator of the world, we ask you to accept these offerings for the glory of your name and the good of your people through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we shall have the closing prayer. Let us pray. The Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for your Son, Jesus Christ, who was born into this world 2,020 years ago, who came as a babe. But, Lord Jesus, we know that you have come into this world to give us the light, the true joy and sense of happiness and because of your coming, that we have been saved. Lord Jesus, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for your very life, right from the day of your birth till the day that you were risen up into the skies. And as you are going to come very soon to take us all into your eternal presence, Lord, we pray that you would bless each and every one of us as we continue to love and serve you, Lord. Safeguard us from all kinds of dangers, from all disasters, from all kinds of satanic influences, and from all kinds of infections, Lord, and keep us under your kind protection. Lord, we pray that your everlasting presence of the Holy Spirit would continue to rest 
and abide upon each and every one of them, Lord. Bless them, Lord, throughout this Christmas season, Lord, so that day after day they would be able to know your loving presence working in their lives through the enabling of your Holy Spirit in their lives. Lord, bless them and be with them, Lord. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Now we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the time of trial, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name name of Christ. Amen. Now we shall all sing the doxology together.